So that's like coffee with Karan. Without Karan. <laughs> coffee with Kabir. The problem is huge because almost all transactions are happening on digital. The moment a person passes away, if we touch the person's digital email or any of them, it is considered as a breach of act. When you talk about AI, it's not transparent, I must say. It is like a black box. In a global perception, there is a gap, skill gap. Technology is moving so fast, so it is quite difficult to have the same thing to be adapted in the educational curriculum. Now, you don't have to be an expert to have an attack generated. You have services given. Hmm. Dark web is a place where our information could be there, but we, we are not aware. We are giving devices to our kids. Are we giving a protected device? Or are we giving them a gun? The risk involved with them having phones and access to social media, access to messaging platforms, to groups, is huge. They have identity on many platforms. They might be having 10 to 15 email accounts and the parents might not be aware. The footprint they are leaving as a kid in a gaming platform, in a messaging platform, that remains. By the time they realize it's too late. Who controls AI? Who makes the decisions? Who makes the frameworks? You see the magistrate, for example. The first question we need to ask is, are they literate in technology? You cannot use an open source tool and uh, submit to the court. Not but we're talking about agents being trained and AI and agentic AI and currency which doesn't sit in any country. Where is this really going? And, and who's going to be suing whom based on what law? The research says that every five minutes there are defake crimes. And by the time you're trying to prove... The character assassination is done. Exactly. In those cases, when we are taking, collecting evidences, we should have the blockchain. The ticking bomb.